Alright. I could ask the holder from the side. It may be cool. I wonder if it looks weird up here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Hey, Mark. I think that's cool, actually. Yeah. That's cool. We've got people on there already. Okay, everybody, um, one, two, three, say hi to Instagram Live. One, two, three, hi. Hi. Sideways. 
just about a puddle in my friend's backyard. <laughs> um, her name is Rita, and uh, I'd like to give Rita a shout out. Rita, I don't know if she has Instagram, but if she ever sees this, um, hey Rita. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Rita's three cats, um, Zachary, Wingate, um, DJ, and Otto. Hey guys. At this time, I'm going to be uh, moving from the keys to my guitar. So just bear with me as we do some switching. Oh, my God. 
So how many people uh, here are actually from New York? So a lot of you. But a decent amount. Born and raised, wow. Born and bred. Even better. Um, I used to live in New York State, actually, in the Binghamton area, and it was amazing. Um, I say I'm from Baltimore, but I've moved around like so much in my life. Um, and I spent most of my high school days in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, so this next song I wrote the last time I visited Memphis, it's called Namesake. And uh, I hope you like it. Son, you last saw leaving the station. But tomorrow I'll be coming home to Memphis. Now will you look your namesake in the eye? I wonder. Is there something about my hair you don't remember? Or have I changed beyond all recognition? Look at what the wind blew into my voice. Now will you look your name in the eye this time? Who can forget a sinner like me? He can in that face his own reflection. is your own shadow. The truth is that I've always stood beside you. Strange Creature, and just to give a background, um, I guess I wrote this song in a time in my life where I felt like I was having that experience where I was being treated like the other, and um, I, I mean, I think everybody has that experience to some degree, and um, it can be dehumanizing and weird and strange and uncomfortable, so I guess the song was sort of me processing that experience for myself, so... It's called Strange Creature. He ain't your favorite animal But he walks a lot like you One glance and then you lock the door he smiles and says, how do you do? Strange creature. 
so much. That was a James Brown tune, by the way. Peace and love. Um, yeah, just got like one more on the guitar and then a few more on the piano. Thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, give it up for uh, Ricky for throwing this party again. Yeah, so basically what happened this weekend was um, I had a gig in New York and it got canceled last minute. And I was like freaking out on Instagram. And um, Ricky like comments in on one of my photos. He's like, hey, I'm having a rooftop party. Like, just come play a set. We'll stream it live. So it's like, okay, like, I will. <laughs> and um, it's all worked out really perfectly so far. And I'm like super grateful. So thank you. Castles in the Sand, it's an original.
Thank you. Um, all right, I'm gonna make one more switch to the piano and we'll uh, make a few more tunes. Thank you for uh, listening to all my songs. I'm not sure if you've ever heard any of these before. Uh, they're not recorded yet, but I'm actually flying out to LA tomorrow to um, finish recording my album. So thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it. Yeah. This one is uh, one of my favorite people in that too. It's called Lance Life.
Um, thank you. Uh, the next song that I'm going to play is uh, an original called Merman Song. Um, it's named after a small town in Louisiana. It's just actually where I was born. Not in the town, but I was born in Alexandria, Louisiana. Anybody from Louisiana here? Nobody. Great. Okay. Next time. Um, the song was written at a time in my life where I was like really coming out for the first time. And a close friend of mine was also coming out to his family. He's from Mermintal and um, we both had like really turbulent experiences with our families. And um, I guess I kind of saw my I saw myself in his story in a way. And um, I guess the song is about finding belonging and um, searching for that because everybody wants that, right? We all need that. So, um, yeah, so this is Mermaid Talk. Singing in walls of white 
heaven Lovers laying side by side But when we reach forever Will there be a place where you and I may find home So I keep a candle burning And I pray to see that same time for certain but it's just my own reflection <laughs> and that silhouette in the window is the shape of someone I don't quite remember dancing in the fire well it was almost heaven into um, recording after that, and I was chilling in Long Beach, California. And I had lots of time on my hands all of a sudden, and um, I don't know what compelled me to write a song to my Airbnb house, but I did. And what I, I ended up just leaving this massive like fan art picture that someone made me under the mattress at my Airbnb, because I only had one bag and my guitar, and I didn't have room to carry it around everywhere. So I wrote my phone number on uh, this picture and slid it under the mattress. So the plan is to keep 
performing this song until one day my Airbnb host hears it and realizes that um, I left a picture under the mattress with my phone number and hopefully they'll call me up and be like, hey, come get your picture. It's me. So this is called uh, Call Your Mom. Number 3046 I wanted you to know I left a picture Beneath your mattress As a token of my love And shoot
this moment 